Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Transfer Talk. And today's episode, we're still going to be talking James Madison in a minute or two and what Eddie Howe has said on potential incomings for the rest of the summer transfer window. First of all, I want to talk about Maxwell Corney. Newcastle have missed out on another target. Maxwell Corney is on his way to West Ham for a medical this evening after West Ham triggered the 17.5 million release clause from Burnley. Newcastle, as Keith Downey reported, have very much looked at Corney in the last few weeks. Thought he could do a job on that right-hand side, definitely. I don't know why we didn't go for him. Has Corney just chose West Ham? I, I don't think we really went that much into him, to be honest, and I think we've missed out. I really do. I think this is a missed opportunity for Newcastle. I mean, 17.5 million for a player that scored nine goals last season in a Lifton Burnley side, a horrific Burnley side, who obviously got relegated, went the majority of the season without winning most games. I mean, goodness me, Maxwell Corney scoring nine goals in his debut season for that side, for Burnley. What could he have done with us? I'm telling you now, St. Maximum, Wilson and Corney up front as a front three is brilliant. I don't know why we didn't go for Corney at that money as well, at that value. You know, we're talking about spending the rest of our budget on James Madison, 40 million, 50, 45 million left to spend this summer. You could have got Corney and then it's still a backup striker in there, you know, or, 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 or a midfielder. I, bit mad for me. I don't know why we didn't go through with Maxwell Corney. I think we've been too slow with it. I think we're just waiting with time. West Ham tried to get him on loan a couple of days ago. Now they've had to pay the 17.5 million release clause. That is an out for Corney. He's played at Lyon before. He was class in France, which he played with Bruno Guimaraes. So I think there was a good link there why we should have got him. Um, bringing everyone from Lyon, you know what I mean? Including Baquetta. But we could have got him. We should have got him. I think we should have acted on this weeks ago and we, we could have had Corney. And like I say, him is a front three on the other side of St. Maximin. It would have been brilliant, it would have been exciting, it would have been electric. He's got better in the product than St. Maximin. We all love St. Maximin. Corny's numbers are better than Alan St. Maximin's. Corny would have been our top goal scorer last season. So I'm not going to dwell on that. It's gone now. He's going to West Ham, but we missed out. We should have done something about that. Not to worry though, let's stay positive. Eh? Still a few weeks left of the transfer window. Closes on the 1st of September. And Eddie Howe was asked yesterday by Keith Downey on Sky Sports what the deal is. Are we going to sign Madison? Are we signing a forward? And Eddie Howe insisted we will definitely be bringing in one or two more players this window. Now, there is a small pool of players, is what Eddie Howard said. He says there's only a, f a few that he's selected that he feels and Dan Ashworth feels and the club feels are good enough to really take us to the next level. Because what we're having the issue with at the minute is all these players are going to drastically improve us and get us from 10th to 7th. That's the goal right now. That's the goal this window. That was the goal with Botman, with Pope. Do you know what I mean? So... They're struggling at the minute to really find value in players that can get us to that next step. Obviously, Madison's one of those. Diaby was priced out a bit. Werner looks like he's chose to go to back to Germany instead of coming to us on loan. Benjamin Sesko looks like he's going to Manchester United. So they're missing out on targets left, right and centre. The James Madison thing is still dragging on. We're still in talks with Leicester. We haven't walked away from the deal. We haven't gave up on it yet. Eddie Howe would not be drawn on Madison's name. He would not say, yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to go all out for Madison. He would never say that. He's quite shrewd in interviews, is Eddie Howe. So... He does say we're definitely going to sign a forward or two, though, in the next few weeks. So that's good news to hear that the club are obviously still trying behind the scenes to get that one done. James Madison, will it happen? I'm kind of leaning towards no now, unless it happens late, late in the window, because Leicester are literally holding out 50 million up front now, that's what we want, or 60 million in instalments with a large instalment up front. Newcastle don't seem to be willing to pay that, they haven't got the money. It looks like we've got 40 million to spend in the next few weeks, and that's it. Whether that be all on Madison, all on a winger, straight guy on loan and a winger, all on a midfielder, that's all we've got. So we can't go past the 40 that Leicester want for Madison, not going to happen. So that's why I don't think it's going to happen now. I think it's a big, big shame. I think you know James Madison wants to come here, he's given out them signals. Leicester kind of need the cash, but although apparently they're rejecting big bids from Chelsea for, for Fauna. So, you know, it remains to be seen. The, the slap on like a 70 million price tag on, on for Fauna, so... It remains to be seen with Leicester. They've lost Schmeichel. Can we just give them 40 in Nebraska, 35 in Nebraska, something like that? You know, but something may change late in the window. It's definitely, unfortunately, not going to happen now before Forest, before the game against Nottingham Forest. Thursday afternoon now, not long ago. Absolutely buzzing for the start of the season. Saturday at 3 pm at St. James's Park for Forest. But Eddie Howe would have loved a winger in by that time or a striker as well, a backup striker. And speaking of strikers, our own number nine, Callum Wilson, has admitted. That he would like us to still sign another striker. He has said that he would like to evolve more as a player. And he thinks it's crucial to have that competition. It's mad that he's actually saying that. Because he's completely just throwing wood under the bus. Like, yeah, well, I'm not learning. Fuck all of him. 
So can we bring in someone that can actually be a striker, please? If someone else can come in, give us a kick up the arse, yeah? Show us a thing or two, improve my game, that would be great. And it would be great for us because we need that backup striker because I'm dreading going into this season with Chris Wood. If, imagine if Callum Wilson gets injured on Saturday and then we've got Chris Wood up top. We'll lose that game, you know what I mean? But we'll lose the fucking any hope of having a good season and all. But although it could be a good thing if Wilson gets injured, if he did take a knock on Saturday, not nothing too serious obviously, but rule them out for a few weeks, then the club might act a little bit more in trying to get another striker because we cannot be relying on Chris Wood, like we really cannot. But keep the faith everyone, stay positive. The club are working hard behind the scenes, Ashworth, Stavely, Eddie. They're all doing their best to try and get some new recruits through the door. Hopefully we'll see a couple more, at least one, and it has to be that right winger. Even or we do get James Madison, that's a huge statement, Simon. He can ship them with a lot of creativity, goals and assists, so he takes the boxes there. Still work to be done, still weeks to go. Plenty of updates here on the Magpie Channel TV throughout the rest of this transfer window, so smash that subscribe button, the little bell, press like, see you on the next one.